Okay, note the roll. Uh, well, welcome to our brand new board member, Paul Burning. It's great to have you here representing the city of Hudson. So obviously you've had a chance to meet and talk to everybody here. That's here. <laughs> sort of. Yeah? Okay. A little bit. A little bit. All right. So good to have you on board, buddy. Thank you. And uh, I'm sure you're going to do a great job for us here. Okay. So take a look at the consent agenda. Anybody want to make a motion? I move the consent agenda. We approve the consent agenda. Okay. Second. Uh, moved and seconded. Do we have to do a roll call on the consent here? No. 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 Okay. We do it this city. All right. So, uh, discussion, no discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's approved. <clears throat> Citizen comments? Anybody here uh, have anything to say? We're not quite to the friends yet. Okay. Um, obviously, nobody here. Glory is not here. That's unfortunate. We don't have an opportunity to wish her a Merry Christmas. Uh, hopefully she gets here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, is she okay? Has she been okay this time? All this time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I yeah. missed a couple. Yeah, she, yeah, she came to two. two I, I read it in the minutes, but it yeah. just didn't. She say. was doing fine. She just uh, said she needed to take a take a, a rest, a break. Good, good, good for her. Yep. Um, <laughs> all right. So uh, presentations by supporting organizations, friends. So the, um, the other day we met with um, the family fresh representative and got our check for $10,000. We had deposited, or we had pre presented them with uh, $150,000 worth of, huh? 1000 1000 okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Where's your list? Um, <laughs> uh, it turned in $150,000 worth of receipts and we got $1,000 from them. Um, they have a new program and that there's a little more oversight into it so the, the validation of the receipts takes a little bit longer so um, we had turned it in a while ago and we just now we've gotten the check so uh, Joyce and I were up there yesterday got a picture taken with the manager and that will be in the paper um, hopefully next week cool and then um, so going so currently we have uh, $29,599 $599.52 in receipts as of November 9th. We're continuing to collect those, of course. Cool. Excellent. And uh, Joyce thinks it was the $5,000 check that we've got from Family Fresh. That's a nice program. Yeah. It's great. Anything else? Uh, nothing else. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Anybody here want to represent the foundation? Well, we haven't met since our last board meeting. Yeah. Uh, we're scheduled to meet the, the first, the second Wednesday in January. Um, I didn't, I ran out of time. I didn't contact Susie to get an update on the annual campaign. Do you know? Um, I've missed a few days of things coming get in, in, but what I have recorded, we're just over 30,000. So I think Susie has some that I don't have. So I think we're really close to last year's. Okay. At this point. So. Okay. Okay. That's a little and more time. Still got a few. Yeah. Yeah. A couple weeks. Yeah. And we've had a lot of new donors. Oh. New names. So that's that's even better news. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, I've got, uh, I've really got nothing, um, I haven't talked to any of the folks at the various municipalities, uh, I think everybody knows what the budgets are in, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, at the, um, St. Joe meeting, I, um, she asked if it would be fine if Tina came in January and reviewed the, um, strategic plan for the coming year with uh, the town board and they accepted that offer. And so please be happy to come and do that. Good. Okay. Uh, nothing more on the county board. Uh, you know, obviously we lost the thirty percent, so just move on, right? Uh, director's report. 
Okay, um, my report went out in the packet, so everybody, have you all had a chance to look at that? Any questions? Are you going to talk about, um, oh, you are. I mean, I, I think it's noteworthy that circulation of hard copy materials is up over last year. Yes. I mean, that is um, contrary to what's happening in most libraries. The use of hard copy materials is going down. And so we are um, clearly work to get people in the door is having a positive impact on these resources. And so that's what it's all about. So. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so I, I do have some, some notes. So um, Barb mentioned I will be attending the St. Joe town meeting. I am also preparing annual reports for all the municipalities, which I <coughs> hope to present next at our next board meeting so that you will all know what I am going to send out to the municipalities. I think that they need to know what's going on, what we're doing with the funding that they provide for us. And um, so I will be doing that. And after it's presented to the board, I will mail it out to each of the municipalities. The library cards will be purged based on last activity date. So we're gonna see a drop in the number of borrowers, but that'll get us on track to know how we're doing. Um, and we decided last activity date because some people use their cards for overdrive or they use them only for the computers and they don't always get updated. So they might have an expired card, but they're still using it. Um, I, uh, um, thanks to Jill Birchall, I'm pursuing a grant opportunity with the Phipps Foundation, so I've just started working on that. And I will keep you posted. Um, I met with Carrie Rambo about the Hudson Hospital Foundation's wine event. We will be receiving some of the funding. Um, the numbers weren't done yet, and there's a meeting first quarter, might be in January, it might be February. Um, she wasn't sure yet about the funding and planning for the health literacy initiative. One thing I did discuss, we will not have a little free library here in the library. Um, we are going to be, um, I really advocated, I really want us to be more of a resource where people come, not come for the little free library. So um, that will be our focus and our role. We will receive some funding for a children and teen, children and teen health literacy resources. Um, Carrie and I talked about an online health and wellness database that would be available to Hudson patrons. Um, we talked about the health and wellness materials focused at the children and teen levels. So we'll work on that. And we were talking about potentially um, getting maybe some iPads that would go in the children's area or the teen area to access those databases. And those I've seen done in libraries, they're mounted, um, they're very accessible. Um, so that's kind of what we talked about, nothing in stone, but um, with the foundation, I am working on some funding opportunities to present at our next meeting. And these are some of the things that I've come up with. If anyone has additional ideas, I am open to suggestions. Um, they did sponsor the summer reading program last year, so I'm going to ask that that be funded again this year. We have a gardening program that we're programming. We have some backyard chicken raising program coming up, a small spaces program, and I'm hoping to see if the foundation wouldn't be willing to fund those programs. So um, that's those are <coughs> programs that people come in and attend. Yes. We're not we're not going to be raising chickens. We're not going to raise chickens. <laughs> um, e resources, that's I, I, I'm gonna do a little more research, see if there are some databases that would be nice for us to have just for huts and patrons. Collection um, and programming. And and those are the things that I've 
came up with on the spur of the moment today because I, I thought I'm going to have we're going to have that meeting. I should let the board know what some ideas. So if there's any other suggestions, feel free to email me those. Upcoming programs. This is what we've got going on through the end of this month and for the first quarter of 2017. So we have got Lego programs going on. Um, we're having an origami program, a science fair day. Amelia Bedelia will be coming to visit. We'll have board games. Story times will restart in February. We're going to celebrate Tell a Fairy Tale Day, a great day for Dr. Seuss. We'll celebrate his birthday. We'll have a Lego scavenger hunt, and Albert Einstein's birthday and pie day coincide. So we're going to do something with that. For teens and tweens, um, we've got a lot of STEAM programming going on. Um, IFLIS has put together some makers, maker kits, and we are utilizing those. So we'll be having a little bit space program. The Hack a Banana, that's something the foundation actually, nope, I take that back. That is something the friends of the library purchased for us. Um, we'll be doing a wind power science project, pancake art day, Lego mind storms. We're having an anti-Valentine Valentine Day party. And these are things that the TAB group has come up with. So the teen, teen advisory teen board. Advisory board. Um, for adult programming and the tabletop game nights, those are more family oriented. Paper play, we're taking our planner play to the next level. We're including card making, um, scrapbooking, so people can come in sit around, chat, um, stitch learn nights, one another. learn from one another. Stitch nights has been a huge hit. Um, it's a great social hour and everyone's working on their projects. If they need help, they can get it from each other. We have Learn at the Library going on. Matthew's teaching those classes on Fridays. Um, he'll be doing introductions to Twitter, Instagram, Badgerlink, Novelist. Overdrive, those are the upcoming, they're the first Friday of each month. Uh, we have a button tree art project, the score workshops that were sponsored by the foundation, and then the Urban Garden series. Statistics. Um, yes, Barb mentioned that our circulation was up, and it was. Um, pretty fair amount. And if you look over the uh, over the year, I mean we, we've been up quite a number of months and that trend is unusual. The visitor counts. I did the numbers so you could kind of see 2016 we're at 9,401. The last time we were close to that number was in 2013 at 9399. Um, in 2014 it was 8,883 8, 8, 8, and last year was 7,266. So which color is 2016? 2016 is the blue. Okay. What years were we closed on Mondays? Um, 14, 15, how about 13? Was it 13 that you closed on Mondays? Or was that when the decision was made? I'm not 100% positive. That's not a strength of mind to remember dates like that, particularly when they're unpleasant. But I think that for your age. I'm just curious. <laughs> um, new registrations. <clears throat> for the most part have been up in 2016. November we were actually down by five over last year. Um, we're doing pretty well year to date. Digital usage, you can see the trend is up. 19% um, increase in checkouts overall. Which was the digital the database that you mentioned, it was a big universe that you, your kids' books. That, that oh, tumble, tumble, tumble books. Okay. There was something that came up at our principal meeting because we, the school uses big universe. Oh, okay. But some of the teachers prefer tumble books. They have some tumble books too. Okay. Example, the kids have library cards. Yes. 
they would be able to access that on their school computers. So that would be great. Yeah. And our website activity. And those numbers wouldn't be in these numbers. No. So Not that's yet. It. Do we have? That's an interest. It just brings up an interesting issue of login. Well, uh, use of databases. I mean, we've had not very, we haven't had um, many unique resources. Right. Right. So next year we'll have numbers, but okay. right now we don't. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that, that will be more activity. And our computer use year to date, um, we've been up. Yeah, now again, that's, that's sort of contrary to what you would expect with everyone bringing their own device. You wouldn't think use of our machines would be going up. And our year to date wireless usage, um, and this really is going to be a, a gauge of how many people are walking through our doors. It is a big thing. And how many people have those devices. Yeah. So those are the statistics. Um, collection development plan. Uh, one of the reasons I think it's important to have a plan is so we're all on the same page, we have a goal, and we know where we're going. And if we know where we're going, we can measure if we've accomplished or not. So a chance you might get there, actually. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, we're going to focus on our collection development, making sure that the collection is meeting the needs and expectations of the community. Um, our focus area number two is patron experience improvement. We want to be sure that patrons are coming in and getting the help they need. So staff will be trained on readers advisory and how to use databases that will help them help connect patrons to the books or information they need and want. Um, we are doing more displays. You probably notice when you come up the stairs. We are getting the collection out there so people see what we have. And <coughs> we have streamlined that workroom process. So the delivery gets here, it's checked in, the holds are put on the whole shelf much quicker. So people can come in after work and they're not waiting until 7 or 8 o'clock before those books are on the shelf. They're on the shelf hour, two hours after delivery is here. So, um, and collection maintenance. So, you know, we don't want to have a book that's outdated that, you know, the technology has changed, but we still have a Windows from 2000. We want to have <laughs> relevant, timely information. And we want to have informative, broad, and we want to cover all the span of thinking, so from one end of thinking to the other, we want to make sure we're meeting everybody in our community's needs. So that's that's the major plan. It's a one-year plan. We'll reassess at the end of the year. So although it doesn't specifically say we need, we need. Well, actually, the plan underneath has actions too. I didn't put the actions there for. I think they're in it. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're in, in, in here. Yeah. So yeah. Same with the programming. I didn't put the actions, but the purpose, it's a roadmap for developing our programs over the next three years and measuring their success. Um, I, I did apply some core values to this because I want everyone working with the same things in mind. I believe that we need to be accountable to our stakeholders, that would be you all, and the municipalities, and our community partners and our library users. Um, I believe that as a staff, we need to be collaborative and work as a team, uh, or else we have dysfunction in the organization. So, um, community, we serve the community and we provide a warm and welcoming gathering place. So, everyone walking through that door should be getting a smile. I, I just, I think that's really important. Excellence, I, I really believe that we should be doing our utmost to serve every person that comes to that counter should get excellent service. People should feel like they want to come back. Um, freedom, I think that we provide open and free access to information for all. 
everybody who comes in should be able to get help finding the information they need. We may not be able to give it to them, but we can show them where they can find it. Um, honesty, trust, integrity, and respect. I really think it's important that we as a staff um, embrace these virtues. We are stewards of public and private funding, so we need to be sure that we know how we're spending our money and we're spending it in the best way for the whole community. We need to be accountable and we need to show respect in our treatment of each other's, our patron and our community stakeholders. Innovation, innovative and future focused. So we're looking at the future. We're not looking backwards. We're looking at where we're going. Um, things are constantly changing, trends um, in technology. We need to be looking at new ideas, finding different ways to improve, and lifelong learning. That's what we're all about. We promote lifelong learning, um, whether it's through recreational reading, through learning outside the box. We provide those opportunities, whether it's just checking out a book, getting on the computer, or coming to a program. So the first um, area is adult services, and the goal is to provide the community with a variety of programming and lifelong learning opportunities. And I divided it up into three target areas, so we've got a general programming, career services and technology training, and small business and entrepreneurs. So, um, and I'll just let you all read that packet, but the objectives overall are providing those services, providing those learning opportunities to the community. Second area. It'll be interesting a year from now to survey particularly small businesses and entrepreneurs and get feedback mm -hmm. um, in some way to see how on, on target right. with what you're doing is and any suggestions they might have. I, I was thinking about, um, I don't know where this idea popped into my head, but do, do public libraries have um, advisory groups? I mean, so um, like, um, like in that particular area, um, a, a, a small group of two or three people who might provide some recommendations and suggestions. Yeah, um, you can do focus groups. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I, I just the, the survey attendance, um, mm -hmm. there are different ways, yeah, yeah okay. for sure. Um, so along the same lines, we want to provide the community with a variety of programming and lifelong learning, and this is focused at children, young adults, families and caregivers. Um, first target audience is children zero to five and families. Second are school age children. Then we have the young adults, our teens and tweens. And I added the homeschool community because I know as a former homeschool mom how important the library is. And I think that if we reach that community, that's only gonna build. Um, and you know, homeschoolers sometimes don't know the resources. I was in a co-op and I worked at the Delano Library and people were just like, really, you can get that at the library? So I think that we need to reach out to that group too. Um, the third area I put here are community events and outreach. Um, that would be doing things like our John Muir exhibit, our Wisconsin history exhibit, and not only doing things here, but then community outreach, so attending different programs in the community or having a representative from the library at different events. And the fourth area is our iLabs and that is in tandem with the foundation's sponsorship of our creative learning spaces and our STEM programming. And all of these things, again, they do have action items that the staff will be working towards. And that way, we know what we're measuring. We know what we're looking for. And that's it. Excellent. Did you want action on that? Um, so the approval, is that what we're looking for here? 
you don't need approval? I didn't think so, no, but. No. Yeah. yeah, this is just more to keep you all in the loop. Okay. Provide Black. feedback on <coughs> that and ask questions, but yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Done. Finance committee report. We moved approval of the, the regular bills. There were nothing and nothing extraordinary. Okay. Nothing to uh, do. We need to adopt it. No, that's under consent agenda. Isn't it? Oh, was it? I thought we pulled these out of consent. Well, I don't know why we why we did that. Where would that come from? Somebody had, somebody had asked. It was in to July, that. and there was a note to remove it, and then I don't Actually, understand. The finance committee report, we did approve it. This is this was just if there was anything else, anything that, else that, needed that, that needed to be mentioned. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Uh, corrections to the minutes of the August 16, 2016 meeting. Yeah. Um, in August, there's several issues. I, I missed a couple meetings, but I caught some problems in the minutes. Um, and I actually went back and looked at the, <laughs> much as I don't like the tape, I looked at the tape. <laughs> but uh, the under, under item three, it says, I move to have the finance committee report removed and made part of an agenda. Peterson second and voted unanimously. Well, I wouldn't do that. I want it under, I want it under the consent agenda items. So I see here on your, your agenda for tonight's meeting, you've got that, uh, that I moved approval of the consent agenda and Peterson second. That sounds more like it, but yeah, I went back and listened. Yeah, that, that was yeah. that should have. And I, I know, I know. I looked at the tape, and that was not there. So yeah, so that question. is the correction. Um, I did. I listened as well. Yeah, so I think we just. I think we need a motion and approval to, to change those minutes, uh, Mr. President. Just for okay the legal ease of it. Do we have a motion? I'll move to adjust. The minutes as they're stated in the agenda. For item three. Okay. Second? Second. Okay, got a motion and second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion is approved. And under under item nine C where we came up and we discussed the budget, the actual budget itself. Um, I wouldn't make a motion to to approve it and vote against it. And again, looking at the looking at the tape, um, Rich, I believe you just kind of you said in effect that that the finance committee approved that uh, option one of the budget, and so you took that as kind of a motion. Okay. But the minutes reflect that I did it, that I moved approval. So I've got a little issue with that. Did you want to step outside or what? <laughs> well, we could, we could, but you know, uh, that doesn't solve the, doesn't, doesn't yeah. solve the problem. No, no the, the, language, the verbiage, the, the, the new language. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do? If that's if that's legal, I don't know. Well, it's that I think I think what that happens is that the chair generally, even even though the chair may have voted against. Uh, the uh, approval of the finance report. If the if the finance committee still approved it, the chair would still be the one that brings it forward. They would bring that motion forward, right? Because they're representing you, the, the chair, of the, exactly. They're not representing themselves at that right. point. Right, right. So and you can still vote, so, no, vote against it. I think that's just how something. we all understood what yeah. was happening, what yeah. would be happening. So however you want to, you know, I mean, if you feel it needs to be adjusted to, so it's stated better how that happened. I kind of like, I kind of like what was presented in the, the agenda tonight by consensus of the Finance Committee. Okay. Uh, uh, rather than my, me specifically. Making a making a motion right, right, of right. sorts, so, so that, that move, works for me. That works uh, for me. Approval of the restatement of item nine C um, in the August sixteenth, two thousand sixteen meeting minutes. Second. Okay, got a motion and second. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion is approved. 
And there was some discussion, in addition to that, there was some discussion that night about, that Jill Virgil brought up about, uh, uh, and Barb, it was your concern about, uh, uh, about losing a lot of money in, in different places and the county taking away the money and stuff, that we need the, we need the foundation's help. You know, and I think Jill was Jill was made that quite a distinct point that evening. Mm -hmm. You know, but and that's it isn't in here anywhere. But you know, we indeed need the foundation's help to to make all of this work uh, with the reductions that the county right. has put on us and so forth. So, um, and, and the foundation is the, the foundation is well aware of that. But if you want that reflected in the minutes, you know. Um, it, It'd be nice to have it on paper. Yeah, it was discussed. So yeah. How do you want to do that? Let's see. Um, you could put that under 9B, discussion on the, on the budget. Peterson noted the budget includes significant cuts to resources. And we subjected to keeping the library open on Mondays. Jill Virgil made, uh, made a point that we indeed need foundation support. For the for our budget, I would make that a motion if you guys are. Yeah, the right language. Follow me, follow me, Gina. Yeah, give it, actually, I'm gonna have you say it one more time. Okay, the nine B says discussion on the 2017 budget. Peterson noted that the budget included includes significant cuts to resources. We subjected to keeping the library open on Mondays. Virtual commented that we need the foundation support, ongoing support to make the budget work in light of cuts. Cuts to resources and cuts to finances. Something like that. Will it work for you? Okay. Got it. Yeah, got it. I mean, that was, okay. maybe subsequently, the city, the city has said more than stepped up. Yeah. 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 Okay, so is there a motion then on that? I made that motion. Okay, is there a second? I'll second. Okay, motion second, discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's approved. <coughs> Dave? Okay, now in September, item 12 in September, um, all right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The minutes from September, item four, consider, let's see. Consideration to approve action taken during closed session held on August 16th, 2016, regarding market rate adjustment for salary of library director. Well, number one, you can't take any action in closed sessions. You can't take any notes in closed sessions. You can't have minutes in closed sessions, which are actually referred to. That's got to be changed. It's got to, got to reflect um, in open session, it's got to reflect the change in the salary, and the 12 percent is 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 still vague. Uh, we have to put a number in there. And and so that's what. I 12 percent doesn't work for me. I want the number. I want their salary number, the figure. Dollar amount. Dollar amount. From and to, or just. I don't care about the from and to, but just this is her new salary. Okay. Oh, okay. Because because Indeed. you have to have a paper trail for for public record. This is all. This is this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. just at that point didn't. No, we didn't is. have that number at that point. No, we just did use the percentage. We just yeah. used the percentage. We didn't. Yeah. So. But um, you can't. Yeah. But you still can't reflect. You can't reflect things that go on in closed sessions. Either, okay. You can't make reference to decisions that were made in closed sessions. There are no decisions made in closed sessions. No, no. Okay. okay. Just it has to say. And we it came out to say, and a motion was Consider a motion to approve approve action uh, regarding a market value adjustment to the salary for library director to X number of dollars. You have to say something along those lines. All right. So I, uh, what I would suggest, let's lay this over for the next meeting and get a dollar figure and put it in there, and then we'll okay. take it up, put yeah. it on the agenda. Because yeah. okay. she could, I mean, heaven forbid, but I mean, you could go to, you could go to Devin and say, "Oh, my new salary is a hundred thousand dollars," and I can go to Devin and say, "No, it's a dollar." You know, and there's no, there's no, 
traceability or trackability. You have to have a number. Right. Period. Okay. And for the record, for the record, our town board was it was discussed at our town board that she got the increase. And we discussed it, and the town board was perfectly comfortable knowing that the team was brought in at a lower level as kind of a uh, uh, preparatory or, you know, uh, probational, I guess, probational type thing. And then she's done a good job, a really good job. We're happy with her, and it was adjusted to X. You know, and our town board is comfortable with that. Okay. But cool. it's got to have a number in there. Good. All right. So we'll put it over for put it on the next agenda. Get a number, actual uh, dollar amount. Thank you. Appreciate uh, appreciate your. Thanks for bringing it up. Your thoughts. Other apologize business. For, apologize for having to miss a couple of meetings. But, so Other great. business. Everybody? I I realize I didn't look carefully at this agenda. There was an issue that was supposed to be brought before that I thought we talked about, and that was the salary increase for staff. The staff was included in the budget that was approved. By the city or by us? By, by us. By us. Okay. And yes. As the staff, is the 2%. The 2%. That was included in okay. the original okay. budget. Sorry, I misunderstood. Okay. Uh, all right. Any other business? Other business? Other business? Um, anything for future agendas? We're going to be back working on policies. Okay. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's Policy. committee. That's committee work, right? That's committee work, but it will need to be brought to. So there will, I don't think there will be anything on the January agenda. Okay. No. All right. But we'll, future agendas, we will be working on it. Cool. All right. And all I have to say is Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year. I hope everybody has a great next couple weeks and a great <clears throat> 2017. Was there a discussion on approval of the library director's 2017 goals? Oh, that, that's what I had asked. If if there was action that needed to be taken on it. Yeah, I, that's oh, policy. Oh, that was that was. Yes. Yes. That's what I saw. I thought yeah. it said. Uh, a, well, a, you were approval. asking. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and they were. Presented at our last meeting, people were to consider them. Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. Number okay. nine. Number nine. Okay. Right. Go back. Thank you, so Dave. We, yeah, because I, I didn't go back and look at that. I moved ahead because everybody said no. We're not well, I thought you were because her goals were not what we she just covered. I thought you were asking. I I, I thought he was asking about what was on that. Oh, oh, I was. No, you said you were done, and I I guess I moved okay. on. Okay. Anyway, I, I didn't apologize. follow you. Okay. All right. Yes, we do need to approve her goals. Do you have? Can you flash them up there, or I've got them here. Um, So I can read them. Goal one, complete, review, revision, and development of library policies and implement a plan, a plan for annual review of the policies. Goal two, increase public awareness of services to support, to build support for the library. Goal three, enhance and improve library services and resources. And goal four, plan for future staffing needs to better serve the community. So these are specific goals that Tina's taking on, against which, in addition to her job description, will serve the basis of her review for next year. And what you presented tonight complements it very well. Yes. Yes, I mean, she's getting her staff on board. So I move approval of her goals for next okay. year, as was <clears throat> presented in November, and just restated. Discussion? Or a second? Is there a second? I'll second it. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's approved. Anything else, Barb? No. No, that's... <laughs> Sorry. You want to wish us Merry Christmas again now? I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> just, just checking. Yeah. Uh, so we leave for Barcelona on Monday. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Christmas in Barcelona? Actually, New Year's on the Mediterranean. Oh my. We're, we're yeah. doing a big and uh, cruise. Nice. Okay. In Western 
Um, when did you say you leave? leave? Excuse me? When do you say you leave? Monday. Monday, okay. The 26th. After Christmas, got it. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, have fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, should be. Facebook. France, Monaco, Italy, Malta, um, Tunisia, oh. Spain. How long? Well, 13 days. Oh, that's a lot. It's a lot in 13 days, yeah. I move we adjourn. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'll second. I need right. to go home. And Motion and second to adjourn. Yes, All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Motion's approved. We stand adjourned. And once again, uh, Merry <coughs> Christmas and Happy.